Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and uh, welcome to the channel and uh, in this video we are going to be building a network status monitor in Swift UI. Okay, so basically uh, if you have used uh, or developed an app you uh, must know that uh, checking for network is essential uh, especially these days when connected apps are everywhere. So uh, for that reason uh, checking for network availability becomes an essential part of your app development or maybe a basic uh, need one of the basic needs that you have to actually have in your app for better user experience okay so for that reason uh, i thought like you know this will be a good topic to cover for today uh, and uh, this is what we're going to be building uh, today so um, i'm running this inside my device because uh, this this behavior is better like you know it it works better on the device versus on your um, simulator because simulator is very flaky uh, sometimes it doesn't even detect any change okay and sometimes it takes like you know forever to detect a change anyways let me show you the demo so this is running on my device and uh, basically uh, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is put the device on airplane mode and as you can see the um, uh, the airplane mode um, yeah so putting the device on the airplane mode and uh, our uh, basically Wi-Fi and all the network is disconnected everything is disconnected and we have replaced our icon uh, in the center uh, with a Wi-Fi slash okay and notice as soon as we turn the uh, Wi-Fi on our network network status is gonna change to have Wi-Fi availability okay and uh, now I'm gonna show you how you can actually detect the change whether your device is on Wi-Fi or not so I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi and uh, we're gonna go back and immediately uh, the network change is gonna be discovered and you're gonna have a cell phone appear right at the bottom um, and that actually uh, shows that right now your phone is on cellular network you still have network connectivity that actually is provided by the icon at the top uh, which has a wi-fi symbol and then you have a cellular symbol which indicates that you have a cellular connection not the wi-fi so i'm going to go back and turn on the wi-fi and that icon will disappear okay so now you are connected to wi-fi so this is the uh, demo and uh, this is what we're going to create once again the uh, intent is to show you how you can build out this uh, functionality of uh, detecting network changes without using reachability API or reachability uh, framework or the file that Apple provided years ago like you know uh, starting I think Apple 6 or uh, iOS 6 or iOS 8 uh, Apple actually came up with a uh, library which was written in Objective-C uh, which was an alternative to detect the reachability other than various other ways like having your own network call that will actually try to reach out to google.com or apple.com to see if network is available or not so there are various different ways to do it but starting ios 12 apple actually introduced a new framework called network and with that framework they introduced something new called nw path monitor which is what we're going to use today okay so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to import the network framework okay we're going to create a final class and this class is going to be called network monitor okay this is going to be an observable uh it's going to be conforming to observable object protocol and it's going to have two published properties which is going to be which are going to be privately set we don't want these properties to be set by anyone else other than this class so that's why it's privately set and we're going to have two those two properties are going to be first one is going to be called is connected stating whether the uh, wi-fi is connected or not and is cellular now you can name it whatever you want uh, according to your project i'm going to keep it very generic okay then we're going to create a private variable uh, constant uh, which is called nw monitor which is nw path monitor and we are going to create another one which is going to be a worker queue okay so worker queue 
So basically, uh, your uh, your monitor is gonna work on a separate queue. You don't want to you don't want to like you know uh, spin it on your main thread. Uh, so you, I mean, it's better to spin up a separate queue, and that's gonna be basically required when you start the monitoring process. And then you can actually, uh, whenever the change is detected, you can. Um, publish that change using a function called uh, using a closure called path update handler which will notify whatever uh, like you know basically publish these values and wherever you're subscribed to you actually, you're actually gonna be able to receive that so we're gonna see just in a second we're gonna create a public function first called start that means start monitoring and then we're gonna take our nw monitor and we're gonna say start with the queue called worker queue and then nw monitor is gonna have a it has a path update handler which is a closure um and this closure is called uh, basically publishing the update so we're gonna capture week self uh, we don't want to create any routine cycle in here and it gives us access to the path nw path object and we're gonna basically use this path object to discover about cer certain things about the uh, network itself okay so first let's go ahead and move to main queue because we have received some update about our uh, network path change and we are simply going to say self dot is connected okay and we're going to use path and we're going to say path dot status so status is basically indicates whether the connections are available or not and if the value becomes satisfied that means there is a connection to be able to send data then we actually have uh, this expression is going to return true and is connected is going to be uh, turned into um, true value which is going to be published eventually uh, we similarly similarly we're going to actually uh, basically populate is cellular so we're going to once again reach out to path and we're going to say use interface uh uses interface type is cellular and if this exp this function call returns true that means we are on a cellular network so go ahead and indicate that now your path has many different things so for example it has an inexp is expensive uh boolean property which indicates if you're using an expensive cellular uh, where like you know your cellular data is considered expensive when you have a uh, non-unlimited plan you have like you know bucketed plan or you're using a personal hotspot so those two are categorized as expensive um, available interface is basically going to give you all the interfaces that are available for your phone for example if your phone is connected to wi-fi and your phone is connected to cellular network then it's going to give you both of them as available interfaces local endpoint is basically the endpoint that's going to give for locally connected local local area network okay and uses interface type we just use that basically it gives you a boolean value to check if a particular type of uh, interface is being used right now status once again we just use it it indicates the state of the connection then you have gateways that lists out list uh, lists out uh, the number of gateways or uh, gate all the gateways that are configured for those interfaces that you're using currently is constrained it basically when you have is low data like low data mode in your cellular uh, setting on then then you're gonna basically uh, uh, get this uh, indicator turned on saying like you know that the data use is constrained remote endpoint is about remote endpoint like returning the remote endpoint that's being used and returned by the connections network path you have support dns so uh, dns server is if the dns server is configured again you're gonna um, uh, get this information when you are connected or using vpn and uh, ip version 4 ip version 6 and there's like you know any unsatisfiable reason that means your network is not connected so that's opposite to like you know what you have in the satisfied okay so these are all the properties that you have uh, that are available inside the nw path that you can use we are going to use just to the satisfied which is the status one and uses interface type because that's actually um, good for our use case and then i'm going to create another public function so because we have started 
uh, this network, this monitoring process, we also want to stop this. So we're going to simply um, have nwmonitor.cancel called whenever we call this stop function. Okay, so now when we have this uh, this observer ready to go, we are going to actually go ahead and use it inside the content view. So we're gonna create at state, or not at state, state object var network monitor, network monitor, uh, network monitor right there. And uh, for the body, what we're gonna do is we're going to create a vstack okay inside the vstack we are going to have a text called devtechie.com okay and then we're going to have a text oh uh, sorry an image okay this image is going to have system name it's going to depend upon system name is going to depend upon system image is going to depend upon what the state of our connection is so nw dot or nm uh, network manager um, dot is connected so if if we are connected then we want to show wi-fi okay and if we are not connected then we're going to show wi-fi dot slash okay now we're going to put if condition here uh, we're going to say network monitor dot is cellular if there is a cellular connection that's being used then we want to show an image with system name candy bar phone okay that's the name of the image and uh, for this we're going to have a font a uh, large title foreground color of orange we're gonna put on appear uh, observer uh, on appear we're gonna basically start monitoring the process and we dot network monitor dot start uh, the uh, monitoring and on disappear we wanna basically uh, stop okay and with all these uh, with all this uh, we're gonna run this and uh, what you would get is basically the uh, video just I showed you so basically uh, you're gonna get this experience right here which is gonna show you how the network connected and disconnected states are okay uh, now once again uh, I'm not gonna run this uh, inside the simulator because it uh, doesn't work properly so there's no point uh, so I would say like you know connect your device uh, try to use your device and see uh, like you know basically the use case and include it in your uh, project as needed um, okay so with that we have reached the end of the video and uh, now once again i want to remind if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel uh, hit the like button if you like this video um, so i can get the motivation to create more and more of these uh, for you guys and uh, then uh, do check out www.devtechie.com uh, there are like you know a couple of courses that are going out uh, very soon and uh, they cover pretty great detail about like specific topics um, and uh, uh, go ahead and like you know leave the comment if you want to see something specific um, and I'll try to cover that okay so uh, with all that um, I want to say thank you once again for watching the video thank you for your support um, again hit subscribe and uh, like button and i will see you guys in another in another video thank you